So, <clears throat> jab, right hand. Now we need to do what Coach would have said. You got to close the door. You got to close the door. You got to close the door. Okay. So that means I need to finish my combination with my front hand if I can. So if I'm on my southpaw, I want to finish that combination with my right hand. Okay. Does lots of things. When you want to take advantage of of what you've already done. So look at punching combinations or attack like that as an investment, okay? And investments are risk. So, you know, if I'm taking a risk, what I wanna do is make sure I get the most out of my investment once I get in there. If I've hit him with one or two of those punches, the chances that it leaves me an opportunity to hit him with another punch, okay, is pretty high. The other thing is maybe he slips and slides a couple of them, but the, the next punch catches him. Okay, and sometimes you lead it in. Maybe the jab's not as hard. Maybe the right hand is more just setting him up for a left. Okay, and that gets to play later on in things as you get better at this and really start spending some time. So to close the door with this one, left cross, which is not used very much anymore, but it's a really, really valuable punch. And one of the people that made himself a champion um, utilizing left cross was Danny the Little Red Lopez. So you can go on YouTube and watch some of these things. I'll try to put some links um, when we do this. So, jab, straight right hand. Now so my body's all turned and loaded up here, okay? My body's all turned and loaded up. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to release a cross, okay? Bang, 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 okay? I'm gonna release a cross. It puts me way back. I have this position for a reason. It's gonna put me back into this position, okay? It reaches straight. If I hit him with a hard right hand and I throw a hook, even with a hook step, sometimes it's hard to reach the guy. Especially if guys are backing away when they're getting hit and you're throwing hooks and you're missing it because it's not a long range punch. It's a short range punch, unless you're really lunging at it which in some fighting scenarios you can do to some degree of success or not, depending upon the person, but it leaves you really vulnerable. So we're not gonna get into that right at this point in time. Okay? Left jab, right hand, left cross. Okay. What makes this more powerful than the jab is, is I turn here to do this, my whole body's loaded this way. I'm gonna release my step again, like releasing the hook step, right? Bang, bang, bang. So you should be releasing your feet and your body with all of the punches virtually, okay? So when I come here, bang, 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 okay? Really effective punch. Reaches longer, it's straighter, okay? And if people, if you hit him with the right hand or maybe he slips back away and he's too far to range for a jab, that left cross is a really good punch to practice. So on the bag, Punch, slip, punch, slip again. Okay. And so you can go slower with this. Don't try to put too much. Make sure that you're fighting from cover. Don't be throwing punches out here. Work sometimes when it doesn't work, it can cost you everything. So practice fighting from cover with this. And it's release, step, release, okay? Release, step, release. Okay? So spend time, again, doesn't have to be fast. Should be in rhythm and timing, okay? Should be in rhythm and timing, and that's something you have to work on, okay? You have to work on the rhythm of the moment between you and your opponent. Another, another video for that. But there's a, there's a timing in your body and your movement where the energy works the best, right? The energy works the best. So work on that. Find that energy and timing. If you don't have it, you're certainly not gonna be able to find it and read it in your opponent. And that's gonna become a critical factor. Your opponent's timing, rhythm, their distance, and the relationship. So, you want to really work that, 
and not just bang away at a bag. That's why you want the bag to move around. I catch it here and move it there. Okay, I'm interacting with the bag. Holding it back in, banging it in with an elbow or something, okay? And really teaches you how to constantly move and shift with something else that's constantly moving and shifting. If you hit the bag hard and it's moving away from you, you need to follow it in, just like an opponent. Okay, if it's coming in, coming in, and you slide bang, you wanna catch it coming in, right? So, as it's moving around, I'm moving with it, right? And you wanna catch it like that and learn how to catch those timings. And then if it's coming in, I wanna step one way, or I wanna step another way. I don't wanna bang into people necessarily, depending on what they're doing. I kinda of step to the side, I kinda of move here. The guy's attacking, I can't keep backing straight up without problems, especially when people can kick or take you down in the process. If you start just backing away in a straight line, it'd be a lot to pay for that. You learn how to step sideways, how to move when people come in. Take them, move them, move you, okay? So, practice that combination, it works really well.